Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day or evening wherever you are. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, so today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today's topic is going to be on Chiron Retrograde. So we are going to be looking into how Chiron Retrograde is going to affect your life. Um, so Chiron is going to be retrograde for the next five months. So um, it started its retrograde July 15th and it will end December like 20th or something like that. Um, I'm not, it's, it's around sometime in December. Um, but yeah, so it's a kind of a short, but Chiron packs a really big punch because it is known as the wounded healer. So it represents our wounds. Um, it represents our pain where we feel most vulnerable, but it also has a, it's kind of like a double-edged sword kind of, because it also gives us the ability to heal that wound and to allow ourselves to spiritually grow from the those painful experiences and to help others as well um oh my gosh for i put a little snippet in the description box if you want to know like more about it i'm just giving you this short interpretation i don't want this intro to be super long but that's the whole basis of chiron so i thought it'd be cool if we did this reading because i feel like ever since chiron retrograde i don't know about all of you but it has just been like a shit show of tears like i'm just crying for every reason i'm usually like all these okay like i'm a scorpio cancer moon so i'm just all water all the time anyways but just lately i've been like super sensitive and just like not just sad tears but happy tears scared tears you know angry tears just I, i'm just crying a lot so chiron usually affects you know <laughs> vulnerability like emotional vulnerability especially um this chiron retrograde is happening in aries so it's really going to show up in terms of in the collectiveness um personal wounds yourself how you feel about yourself wounds that you've repressed within yourself about yourself this is a very personal Chiron retrograde for everybody so it's going to be a lot of your own triggers and your own wounds coming up to be healed to be acknowledged to be released and then transformed and like you know help you in your spiritual growth and your spiritual ascension so yeah so we have three piles here to choose from we have the first pile here with the blue lace agate we have the second pile with the labradorite and then we have the third pile with the lapis lazuli so feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so just take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Do not make it fit if it doesn't fit. I am available to do personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, that information will be below, down below in the description box as well. And then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting my channel in any way that you feel guided to do so. I truly appreciate every single one of you, so thank you all so much for your trust and support. I love you all to the moon and back honestly i'm so grateful and i'm so appreciative of just you all taking your time out to watch these readings and i'm just so glad that they're resonating with you and providing you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation so thank you from the bottom of my heart um so yeah so without further ado here let's get on to your reading my first group so if you chose the blue lace agate crystal this is your reading for how chiron retrograde is going to be affecting you so first thing i want to talk about this blue lace agate because i feel like okay well first the stone represents calmness peace of mind it helps to um communicate your thoughts and feelings from a high from your higher self basically i was gonna say higher perspective but from your higher self it also helps neutralize anger so i feel like a lot of you are learning or chiron retrograde is going to be teaching you how to communicate your thoughts and feelings from a place of peace and calmness and balance because i feel like maybe a lot of you who chose this group um maybe struggle with anger or being overly frustrated or speaking from a place of anger and frustration uh, maybe even anxiety a little bit um I do feel like chirometry is going to affect your daily habits and this is for the better but it you may not take it as that as when it's happening you may kind of um, resist it a little bit because we do have your tarot cards here and they all are in reverse so I feel like there's going to be resistance to this new way of thinking communicating feeling trying to bring yourself some type of peace and calmness and really trying to neutralize any anger that you're holding within you that will come up um 
I feel like a lot of you, I don't know, the daily habits card is really kind of speaking to me because I feel like a lot of you need more sleep. So Chiron Retrograde may make you want to sleep more or rest more, take more naps, get just a a good night's rest if that's something that you're lacking or missing um if not i feel like it's kind of saying um it's again it's kind of just bringing in this calm peace comforting type of vibe um it's also this uh, blue lace agate is nurturing so wanting to nurture yourself a lot more almost like mother yourself i feel like is what's coming up for a lot of you for the next five months here um cause, oh yeah because we do have self-care it says self-care um it's about getting a better routine so i don't know if you guys um a lot of you chose this are in this place where you don't have a self-care routine or just a routine that makes you feel good about yourself and what you're doing in, in your life and everything like that. So this kind of retrograde is really going to bring that into focus and it may bring it into focus in the most kind of disruptive type of way. You may get frustrated if someone, you know, asks you to hang out and you're super tired and um, you just haven't slept well. And instead of telling this person, you know what, um, I'm just gonna, you know, peace out on this one i'll catch you guys later you get frustrated you be like i don't want to go out we're always going out like why do we always have to do this you kind of are taking out your anger on them because you're not putting yourself first or really communicating your feelings in an effective way that was just an example um for some it could be something as simple as that but this is about having a new routine that really um balances out your life and i'm hearing compromise so i feel like there needs to be some compromise and maybe some of the choices you make maybe um with other people in your life um this is about making healthy choices that are good for you first and foremost and then kind of you know figuring out how others fit into that type of to your routine instead of you fitting into someone else's routine if that makes sense um i'm getting a lot of meditation would be really useful for you over the next five months i'm getting uh, maybe some subliminal work or some type of um I'm getting like special effects but like not like i'm getting like maybe sprinkling sprinkling lavender around your pillows or buying um some lavender to burn i don't know if you can burn lavender but um just having something peaceful and calm if you like the smell of lavender around you to just get you to focus and be present and calm your mind calm your body and calm your spirit and just kind of um respond from a place of peace instead of a place of like anger basically um let's see so where do i want to start so with the freedom card here this is a really pretty blue and also blue reminds me of like throat chakra um again nurturing calm peace mind all that stuff freedom it says i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness i definitely feel this kind of retrograde is going to force you um to create your own happiness and i say force just because i do feel like there's some resistance here because obviously this is something new you're not used to it i do feel like this is something that you have to learn and incorporate in your day-to-day -day life your daily habits about how to be responsible for your own happiness how to create your own happiness knowing that you have the power and the freedom to do so and no one else can um do that for you and also i'm getting here about giving your power away i feel like a lot of you have given your power away to other people which is why you feel so frustrated or angry when other people are maybe embarking on your nap time or something and instead of just saying like hey i'm napping you know i'm busy or you know whatever you kind of just take your anger out of them or something like that or not that you're like a bad person i mean we all do it but this is just about chiron showing you where you're not taking care of yourself where you're not speaking up for yourself where you are um giving your power away where you are disappointing yourself where you're just being a little bit maybe immature emotionally and just a need to take responsibility for your own emotions i definitely feel like this is um what chiron retrograde is going to be teaching you and it's going to be you're going to get triggered a lot i am picking that up but it's to help you bring awareness to 
okay, where can I take my power back? Where can I speak my truth? Where can I kind of respond instead of react to whatever's going on? This is about looking forward, looking from a higher perspective and seeing everything as a lesson or everything as helpful to you, even if it doesn't feel helpful, but seeing everything as teaching you some type of lesson so you can have a more peaceful, balanced and happier life moving forward after you know the five months you know so this five months is going to be a little tricky it's not terribly going to be challenging but it is going to just bring up a lot of stuff i feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling despair or just uninspired you're going to kind of maybe be disappointed in yourself and really just um engage in some negative self-talk so to be what's that saying to be for armed is to be no to be for oh my gosh i don't know the saying but i'm getting that saying in my head but i just feel like this is i'm telling you this because spirit wants you to be aware that these things are signs of where you are not taking care of yourself where you are giving your power away to other people other things whatever the case may be so you're going to feel this because when you feel bad, you know what feels good. You know what I mean? If we never felt bad or felt despair or felt uninspired, we would never know what um, faith or hope or inspiration felt like. So all of this is coming up to get you to notice where you feel disappointed because through that, you'll know where you will feel hopeful. You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like there's like after this five months, it's going to free you from a lot of toxic like toxic shit i'm getting toxic relationships for most of you and i'm not saying these relationships are toxic like to abandon them and just you know throw them away i'm getting that there just needs to be some like honest communication with these people there just needs to be healthy boundaries set and you being able to stick to those boundaries and you being able to communicate your feelings from a place of calmness instead of anger or um, immaturity um, maybe envy or just this feeling of being just this feeling of like this irresponsibility feeling i'm getting for a lot of you so chiron is really focusing on that for you um like i said in the intro chiron is retrograde in aries so i would kind of check out where your aries is and that's kind of um where it's going to affect your life the most like let's say you have aries in the fifth house it's going to affect your romance your creativity your play your um if you have children your children your um what else is the fifth house um like yeah like all of that stuff i mean you can look it up yourself but it's going to affect that type of area because it wants you to see things differently anytime we have a retrograde it's because we need to revisit rethink reevaluate um whatever whatever area in that life that retrograde is happening in or just all areas of life you know what i'm saying um it's all interconnected so i definitely feel like there's going to be some freedom here and freedom like in terms of you being free to speak your truth you being free to set boundaries you being free to do whatever you want not like whatever you want but you being free to live your life the way you want to live your life you being free to like it says here create your own happiness and have the power to do so i think that's where you are going to be um really focused on over the next five months so with entrapment here this is a very interesting card again i'm getting rest i'm getting I think you're gonna heal a lot through rest through sleeping through like any time you go to sleep I think your body is going to regenerate a lot of new DNA DNA to help you kind of purge out any old um just old emotional gunk that has been trapped in your DNA if that makes sense so number 34 um, reduces to a seven which is a very spiritual number again it's about peace reflection waiting um you know all that good stuff so this card speaks about letting too many things in your environment control your life again we have giving your power away you may not be feeling in control of your life and it's not because you may be blaming other people and it's not because of other people it's because you're not speaking you're not stepping up you're not speaking your truth to these people you're not and you may think you are but i i feel like it's coming from a place of anger and people don't really listen when someone's angry at them honestly they just want to react and defend themselves so 
you know, that saying you catch more flies with honey, I feel like that will, I don't know if that even relates, but I, it, I felt like the right thing to say. What I'm trying to say is like, the more that you can speak calmly, peaceful and rationally, the more that people listen and they don't feel defensive. They don't feel the need to defend or react or, I mean, you can't control how other people respond, but they will be able to hear you out more than if you were just to like curse at them and just, you know, whatever, because at that point, no one's really listening to anyone. So this card comes out when you are shifting in your personal power. So I do feel like Karma Retrograde is encouraging you to take responsibility for your life. Like I said, it's um, choosing new ways of thinking to create that change in your life. I feel like... <sighs> Ooh, I just heard reality check for so for some of you you're going to get a reality check in the next five months over the next five months about where you are um, maybe victimizing yourself a little bit unnecessarily where your thinking is keeping you trapped in a place where you just feel miserable and you have the power to change this so I do feel like you over the next five months are going to make changes that you want and need and desire. Like a, again, a new daily discipline, a new, you're going to be, um, changing what motivates you i guess like your motivation is going to change um there's a really strong message here with this card to really be careful about the blame game or blaming outside influences for any of your circumstances and your life and you um may be feeling like you're powerless you are not powerless you are a co-creator you are divine authentic um being um and then whether you're blaming this on people the government um your background um anything a bank or something just be careful where you are giving your power away and you are in this blame victim mode mentality the chiron this chiron retrograde is really showing you where you are pointing the fingers because when we point fingers at someone 10 more point back at us so just keep that in mind um not to like scare you or anything but this is just about awareness the more that we can be aware about our own triggers our own wounds our own pain and where we kind of deflect from that the more that we can heal and the more we heal um, the collective consciousness and the more that we can grow spiritually and evolve and just be and live a more peaceful happier life so I do feel like this Chiron retrograde is going to really influence your success in your day-to-day -day life. I feel like for some of you, you could have Chiron retrograde in your sixth house because the sixth house represents your daily, like your day-to-day -day stuff. So check that out. If not, um, that's fine. But I do feel like uh, maybe some of you have Chiron in there. Um, but yeah, I feel like you know just for advice i feel like maybe um reading is something that calms a lot of you maybe start reading again or listening to audiobooks or um listening to certain seminars or um yoga or just kind of I feel like a lot of you are going to be wanting to reach out or look for like-minded people to have relationships with. I think this next five months are going to show you where you fit in and where you don't, where you, like I said, where you've been getting your power away and where you need to take your power back. So, um, I feel like some questions, this is kind of, this is very self-reflective. So I feel like some questions you could ask yourself are, are people in your life building you up or you know inspiring you if not it's time to take charge and start making a change in that area so i do feel like there could be some definitely some negative influences outside influences like maybe you're watching a lot of negative media in your day-to-day -day life like the news or something like that that is affecting your success it's your success it's affecting your spirit it's affecting your energy it's affect affecting your mood and how you respond to other people so i definitely feel like it's really important to take moments throughout the day to kind of tell yourself that you are in control of your life and nothing can affect you unless without your, um, oh my God, what's the word? Nothing can affect you without your permission, basically. Um, you choose to let it in. Your thoughts create your reality, reality. So, you know, this is about just making new choices. Remembering your words, remembering your self-talk is very powerful and kind of altering your own physiology, I think is really going to be a game changer and something that is going to um, change over the next five months here. And we also have Miracle, which I don't even know why I skipped this over. This is a beautiful card. There's going to be some type of miracle over the next five months. There's going to be some type of um, divine 
like timing type of situation where you're going to see the light you're it's like you're you're at the you're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel type of thing this this is this is really transformative this is a very transformative card it's also about your confidence your power your creativity i definitely feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling much more inspired um by the end of december or even by the new year honestly much more confident in yourselves really looking forward to the new year with look forward here i feel like a lot of you are going to be really just inspired i'm just getting this inspirational thing um this is also speaks about your integrity and it talks about gifts and rewards being in the light lighting the way for others again like i said chiron is where we're wounded but it also helps us heal others you know and heal ourselves in healing others so you're really going to be you doing this is going to kind of set the tone and lead other people to do the same um yeah a lot of coming miracles i feel like you're no longer going to pretend to be something you're not you're no longer going to pretend to not see what's really going on within you within others within society i feel like you are going to be no longer able to shut out pain without knowing that when you shut out pain you're shutting out pleasure you're going to be a lot kinder and i feel like you're learning to do this not that you're not already a kind person but genuinely kind you know um this is about extending that type of magic to other people because it was extended to you either by someone else, by spirit, or whatever the case may be. I do think you're going to have a lot of good things to look forward to um, over the next five months. It's just gonna, going to come as really, um, obviously as lessons, but just very personal empowerment lessons, I guess you could say. So with the look forward card here... Um, I kind of spoke about it earlier. I feel like this is about looking forward to a new beginning. I mean, in terms of your tarot, we have the Page of Cups reversed, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Star reversed. So I do feel like there's so much potential here, honestly, and there's so much to look forward to, but you may just not be seeing it because of because you're just paying attention to what's going wrong or what's not happening or, you know, whatever the case may be. And Spirit is really trying to... Um, Chiron Retrograde is really trying to help you see things from a different perspective so that you can make better choices for yourself. So this card really speaks about, um, with the look forward, it really speaks about accepting the past and moving on. It's about no longer dwelling on what has happened in the past. It's about learning from your previous experiences. You're going to learn a lot over the next five months about yourself and about how others see you, how you relate to others, how you have relationships with others. The future is very bright. I'm just getting that really clear and there's no more time to be looking backwards on in the past so this is about releasing the past and looking at it like I was saying this is about becoming who you are meant to become this magnificent spirit that I feel like a lot of you are who chose this you're here on earth to become and to learn and to express this divinity within you so I feel like these messages are very deep. I can't even get into it because I feel like they're just so deep and I, these weren't meant to be really long readings. But I do feel like, you know, spirit is telling you to laugh at your mistakes. You don't have to take your mistakes or your pain so seriously. Yes, it is serious, but you don't have to hold on to it like a badge of honor. You know, you can, you'll be able to laugh at your mistakes. You'll be able to look back at this time in your life and be like, that taught me such a great lesson and you it won't be you won't it won't be so like holding on to it for dear life because you feel like it's going to protect you basically i'm saying what spirit's trying to say is to find the hum you will be able to find the humor in everything the more that you relax and the more that you move forward you know what i'm saying um I do feel like the more that you acknowledge your mistakes, the more that you can learn from them. So be grateful for your past experiences. Be grateful for these experiences that are coming towards you. Um, and be grateful for the growth that that will come from these experiences. This is about using your power to create something new, knowing that you will succeed beyond your wildest expectations. And it's about, you know, no matter what's unfolded in your life or what will unfold in your life, it's knowing that you're learning what you need to learn to be on your way to a new life experience basically to a new way of being a new way of seeing it's about letting go of any immature attitudes that you may be holding on to and and with the four of pentacles reverse this is actually a really good card because it means you're letting go you're not um 
you're not possessing your well honestly okay honestly when the four of pentacles is reversed it's about the universe kind of forcing you to let go because you don't want to let go um because i feel like a lot of you could just be holding on to a lot of disappointments from the past a lot of despair a lot of things and it could be just the past you know last week when someone told you something and you didn't like it and you didn't speak up for yourself and so you're kind of ruminating on it every day now and be like I should have stood up for myself I should have told that person how I really felt you know uh, it could be anything like that but I feel like a lot of you have this like defensive attitude or this type of um victim attitude where like you're just really honestly to be honest miserable um which is nothing to be ashamed of honestly we all feel miserable at times we all feel like a victim at times some point in our life but it's about the awareness of it and not letting it control our lives not giving that type of energy our attention well giving it our attention but not feeding into it where we just feel like oh i'm always going to be miserable or always i'm always going to be defensive or i'm always going to be envious like these are things that are coming up for you so envy defensiveness misery victim mentality entrapment you know a lot of um feelings of feeling irresponsible are coming up so you can change that energy so you can be more frugal you know so you can be more secure with yourself so you can be more renewed and have faith and hope in yourself and be use your imagination for good instead of using it to keep you stuck in a place where you feel miserable and then you're drawing more people into your miserable like misery like misery loves company as i feel like others are doing to you as well and that could just be making you miserable you know what i'm saying i just feel like there's this like miserable energy around and it's coming up over the next five months for you to change it you have the power to change it no one else so if you're feeling this way this is why and you have the power to change it by just thinking differently feeling differently expressing yourself from a truthful place you know being honest with that person if you're around someone that's making you miserable it's about telling that person you know not telling them off but telling that person like hey i feel like you're a little you know not in a good place i feel like you're not balanced i feel like you're a little bit defensive or you're just kind of you know bringing me down a little bit or not bringing me down a little bit but you're just you know, it's about talking to that person from a place of respect, from a place of knowing what it's like to feel that way. And you can only do so much. I mean, if the person comes back at you with like a defensive attitude, then obviously you don't need to be around that person until they get it together. You have the right to excuse yourself from anyone that's making you feel uh, miserable or that is or that you're even allowing this person to make you feel miserable. Because again, you know, it's your consent to who you spend time around and what energies you're taking in and what energies you're expelling so this is about a real this is a real conscious group this is a real conscious um five months or it's teaching you how to be more conscious about everything your day-to-day -day activities how you speak who you speak to what you're saying why you're saying it i know it seems like a lot but i feel like the more that you just practice and you're aware of it you're not it's not going to be perfect you know what i mean you're not going to get it in five months but the start of it will happen and it'll just continue forward into the new year and it'll just be your 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 new normal you know what i'm saying where you are able to speak your truth and set boundaries and not hold on to things and have a mature conversation and and you know you even though you may feel glimpses of disappointment throughout your life obviously it's up and down we're human you won't linger in it you won't bring people down into that energy or you won't be called to go down into that energy of someone's trying to bring you into that energy of despair and all that stuff it's like you'll just have a new way of relating to others and i feel like it'll bring a lot of miracles and rewards and success to you that you are deserving of that's been maybe wanting to come to you for a really long time but spirit has been really wanting you to change your daily habits because you know that's where we get our rewards that's where we get our success is through our daily habits it says morning and evening success is in your routines so this is about making just different choices healthier choices instead of falling into the trap that you have to do this you have to do that when you don't feel like doing it and no one can make you do anything without your consent like i said so 
yeah this is really powerful stuff so i'm just gonna leave that here i feel like i threw a lot at you guys at one type of sitting here but this is what i see for over the next five months for chiron retrograde so i hope this resonated i hope this made sense i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity if not feel free to pick another pile i'm sending you all so much love and light honestly i love you all thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care hello my second pile so if you chose the labradorite this is your reading for what chiron retrograde or how chiron retrograde is going to be affecting you over the next five months here so this is definitely my inner child childhood wound group i'm picking up really really strong here um so chiron retrograde is really going to be bringing up a lot of deeply suppressed childhood wounds honestly um i feel like a lot of you never really got to speak up as a child um you never really felt heard or understood by your parents or caregivers um and you still feel that way like i feel like a lot of you are really shy and quiet introverted you really don't like confrontation you really don't like to even speak up for yourself at times um you kind of just let other people speak for you if that's the case at, at for some people so i feel like chiron retrograde is really teaching you that's not the way to live you don't need to do that you are more than capable of speaking up for yourself you're more than capable then um bringing up some of these wounds to have healed i do feel like um not all your childhood wounds will be brought up over the next five months this is definitely going to take more longer than five months but a good chunk of it is going to be brought up over the next five months and it's about your communication how you communicate and um like it's about communicating something that you wish you had as a child or in your adolescent years that you didn't i'm feeling it's like finally telling your parents how you truly felt about growing up in their household or something like that or how you felt about them raising you or something they did to you personally that you felt like has affected your life in a really difficult or negative way and you really want to speak your peace type of vibe i'm getting here so over the next five months i definitely feel like that's going to be um, being brought up here so and I feel like whatever this is I usually don't get this type of information but I feel like it's between the ages of three and eight could be obviously um older but I'm getting it's something significant happened to you between the ages of three and eight so this inner child card is number 16 which reduces to a seven so again this is a very spiritual inner child type of healing type of vibe here um I do feel like a lot of you do not know how to have or engage within with your imagination, um, your creativity, your spontaneity, all of that stems from your inner child. So your inner child is really wanting to be seen over the next five months. Your inner child is really urging you to lighten up a little bit, get out of your comfort zone and have some fun. Um, maybe do something spontaneous, um, something intuitive, something just out of your norm basically so i do feel like as a child or maybe even now since this is carrying over in your adult life i feel like you do feel a little bit um inhibited i guess um you feel like you just feel really maybe really stiff or anxious or just you're not able to relax or completely feel comfortable with yourself and because of that you tend to overcompensate with others and not feel super comfortable with others so over the next five months that's really going to be brought to your attention so um, I do feel you're going to be triggered in that area where you're just going to be feeling super uncomfortable with other people because you're feeling super uncomfortable with yourself because you're just feeling so emotional, so anxious, so just restricted and feeling like you can't be yourself. You can't do something that you're telling yourself you can't do, but you actually can. It's just because in your childhood you were taught that or maybe... Um, yeah, well, yeah, you were taught that you couldn't be yourself. You couldn't be creative. You couldn't use your imagination. You couldn't do something spontaneous, you know, whatever the case may be. So your inner child is your strongest ally. So, or it can be your biggest foe, depending on how you grew up, how you nurture your inner child. So yeah, this, this is just a lot of childhood pain I'm picking up. Childhood rejection, loneliness, abandonment, um, 
this kind of mercury is going to help you become more confident in yourself, more daring, more original, more bold. Um, I do feel like some of you may still behave in childish ways. Now, this is going to take a certain level of maturity and self-awareness if that resonates with you, if you're aware of that. Um, and if that is the case, then bravo, because a lot of people are not aware of their childish behaviors or where they are just kind of blaming other people for why they act or respond a certain way. So I do feel like you know and it doesn't have to be bad in terms of you behaving in a childish ways it could just be like anxiety fear maybe you just don't trust a lot of people maybe you just have a lot of suspicions around other people anything like that i feel like this over the next five months you're going to be healing that pain you're going to be discovering your independence you're going to be discovering your compassion your creativity um new talents what brings you joy i feel like a healthy inner child is what is needed here for you to truly feel well honestly for you to truly succeed in whatever success means to you i do feel like it's definitely going to help you connect to your integrity which is something i feel like you're really disconnected from so your your integrity is more like your authenticity who you are what you stand for and not because other people want you to or told you to but who like it's like your individuality basically so I definitely feel like divinity is going to be a big thing here. Um, I feel like a miracle is going to happen. Honestly, I feel like there's going to be some type of magic in your life after you kind of are aware of where you are wounded, you know, whether it's a fear of rejection, abandonment, whatever the case may be. This is something that I feel like a lot of you have been neglecting or suppressing whether you're aware of it or not maybe you're aware of it but you just didn't want to deal with it if you weren't aware of it i feel like it's going to be something that you can no longer ignore like i was saying like you just it's going to be front and center in your face that's it so i do feel like um i don't know i feel like a lot of you are very nervous to speak up for yourself like your voice shakes or quivers or um you just don't give your yourself enough chances to express yourself and it doesn't always have to be verbally i feel like maybe writing is a good thing for you guys to kind of consider um just whatever makes whatever your inner child needs to feel better you know whatever you need to feel better whatever you need to feel safe because i feel like a lot of you don't feel safe around um, people or just around your family or around friends even to really speak up and, and say what's on your mind and on your heart because when you did that as a child it was um rejected it was like you got punished for doing that so i feel like that's something you're still living today especially with adversity here so it says i accept the challenges are the best way to learn i think this is going to be a really big challenge for you over the next five months i'm not gonna lie i do feel like you're gonna you're gonna overcome these challenges but the challenges itself are going to be way out of your comfort zone something that you're not even maybe you just believe that you just even can't do it but something is going to give you the courage to do it even if it's in writing maybe you have to write this person a letter even if it's through text or a message even if it's like like weeks later after the whole challenge happened you know you are going to find the courage to actually speak your truth and it is going to be received well honestly um so your tarot here we do have misfortune or the wheel of fortune in reverse we have the queen of pentacles in reverse we have the world in reverse and then we have the king of swords in reverse a lot of reversals this is why i was getting you're going to be resistant to this a little bit in the beginning i definitely feel like um oh i just feel like there's going to be a lot of upheaval there's going to be a lot of um you're just you're going to be feeling when you speak up because it's so new and uncomfortable it's just going to make you feel judged. It's going to make you feel weak. It's going to make you feel like you're not doing the right thing. It's going to make you feel unfulfilled and empty. Um, I feel like, you know, some people may take it as you being pretentious or even entitled or something like that. And that is something that's going to make you feel bad about what you're doing. But spirit is wanting you to get moved past that and look past that. When you are in a, like, really unhealthy relationship with someone and you start changing and making healthy choices usually the other person is going to take that and obviously like you know tell you that you're being selfish or 
entitled or whatever they're gonna make you feel bad for doing that because you're changing the dynamic that dynamic between you both and a lot of people don't like change and they don't want you to change because it they benefit from you not speaking up they've benefited from you not you know speaking your heart speaking your mind from you not speaking your truth from you being stunted in your um inner child growth wounding healing growth stuff whatever the case may be they've benefited from that so when you change that obviously it's going to freak them out but that's no reason to not continue to do so you know what i'm saying you have to continue to co-create the life that you want you have to continue to be in harmony with your heart and your mind um because I do feel like when you do this, you're going to be manifesting and creating a whole new life for yourself. Obviously, you're going to be raising your vibration and you're going to attract more people who actually hear you, listen to you, respect you even, respect your boundaries, who love you unconditionally, who like to hear you speak your truth and like to and like to hear you voice your opinion and see your creations and all of that stuff. I definitely feel like there's going to be a, a really, it's going to be like, like night and day shift like I feel like you're gonna be thinking like these challenges are never ending when will this end I feel so uncomfortable and like the next day you're just gonna feel so like lighter and brighter and high and vibrational it's like that so you could be dealing with challenges for weeks and weeks and weeks or like you know four months and then the fifth month that's when you're gonna see like oh this is actually working like people are actually like listening to me and respecting me and I feel empowered and I feel good about myself I feel better about myself I feel like I trust myself and I respect myself and this is all about your relation to yourself so you have to hear yourself out you know you have to speak to yourself in a way that you would want others to speak to you you have to um no longer oppress yourself if you feel like you know telling your giving yourself a what to for which i always do um because you're just kind of in this place of negative self-talk then do so you deserve to treat yourself right and give yourself that pep talk that maybe no one else is giving you give you give yourself that encouragement that no one else is giving you tell yourself that if you're in this place of loss or upheaval upheaval this too shall pass you know don't let anybody make you feel bad for making healthy choices in your life Um, because I feel like you're going to triumph over this. I feel like you have to go back into something, like go back in your childhood, obviously, or go, I feel like this is like something that's not quite finished yet, like a relationship that is not over because you didn't speak up when you needed to, because you didn't speak your truth and tell this person how you truly felt. Um, and I feel like you didn't do so because of fear, because you don't like challenges, because you didn't want to hurt this person's feelings, but the only person that's feelings, you know, were hurt were yours. And the only person that you know feelings that matter are yours because those are the only feelings you can control you can't control other people's feelings and it's not i mean not saying you should go around hurting people's feelings but you know you can't control who you hurt i mean you can but you can't control how people respond to you setting healthy choices and making healthy choices that's way better um you know what i mean and even though especially in terms of your intentions if your intentions is not to hurt someone's feelings you're not going to hurt their feelings if your intentions is to make someone feel bad that is exactly what you're going to do whether you are aware of it or not so i feel like that is a really big lesson intention 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 is really really important for all of you right now over the next five months because they will make or break you whatever you're trying to manifest in your life i feel like this could be in regards to a lot of it has to do from like your parents your relationship with your parents but i think this is affecting a significant romantic relationship in your life as well i'm picking up here that you feel like um maybe you were in like an empath narcissist type of paradigm or you were just in a place where you could never set boundaries with your person or this person didn't respect your boundaries i feel like this person may um is like charms you or whatever or used you in some way or you just enabled this type of behavior because you weren't speaking up and speaking your truth so that's um yeah so that's one thing i'm seeing so with the creation card here i love this card um what is she holding like a crystal thing so creation speaks about um letting go of old ideas and allowing new growth to come forward here i feel like you have this mission that you're meant to embark on but you can't embark on it until you clear up a lot of these past childhood woundings um i do feel like you are going to complete this mission like i said um 
a new dawn is coming and it's just going to be time it's time for you to open yourself up to divine inspiration and in order to do that these wounds these triggers have to come up so they can be released because you can't take them with you wherever you're going moving forward in terms in terms of your future so this is about letting go of what you no longer need this is about you becoming a warrior i feel like you're going to inspire a lot of people you are like a divine inspiration honestly i feel like you're very creative a lot of you are into music um or um magic or esoteric knowledge or something like that i feel like you're opening up yourself to magic you know you're opening yourself up to a transformation that will last a lifetime but that you've been suppressing for quite some time you're opening yourself up to your divine feminine energy i feel like a lot of feminine energy coming from this so whether you're male or female doesn't matter we both have both energies within us your feminine energy is speaking up for you now is starting to want to show itself it's wanting to appear it's wanting to be a prominent energy in your life moving forward i do feel like you're awakening to some new creative ideas or finding your muse or finding your own like owning your gifts maybe discovering new gifts discovering new talents over the next five months um this is also about no longer waiting for someone's permission to create the life that you want so if you've been doing that that's going to stop um and this is about you again like claiming your gifts and knowing what you need in order to move forward i'm just getting such an artistic expression from you all that you've been suppressing because you're scared of what people will think if you express yourself in this way and you just have to have this attitude of like fuck it honestly like you're just gonna do whatever you know you're just gonna speak your truth as long as it's kind and i feel like a lot of you are kind and nurturing and caring and very sensitive empathic people and um it's just time for you to make decisions based on how you want to live your life and who how you want to show up to the world and how you want to show up to other people you know um, I feel like you have or you will soon meet a really great friend that may be some type of shaman or some type of guru to you that will help you move forward in this, help you move forward through this um, healing process that you're doing, help you move forward through these emotional childhood um, pains and stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that. So uh, did I cover everything? I just, I feel like... What is the speak up card telling me? Well, before we get to that, the heart and mind union. This is about having your heart and mind in union. This is about manifestation. This is about your highest vibration. This is about your joy, your vision, and then and then having a plan and taking action steps to um, see that vision come into your reality. So it's definitely in terms of like how you're speaking or who you're speaking to i definitely feel like you're going to meet someone that is really going to understand you you know what i mean that's really going to show you that you are worthy of being heard if that makes sense um this is about sh like i just feel like you're going to be able to show yourself to the world and who you really are and no longer hide behind anything that you know it's just not you this is just about showing no longer hiding your true self i feel like your soul is just like shouting at you honestly over the next five months is going to be shouting at you and turning up this um it just it's 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 going to be you're no longer going to be hiding i just i feel that honestly i feel like you're just going to reveal yourself and how you genuinely feel about certain things that you've been just keeping quiet about this is about authentic communication as well this is about intimacy that's why i felt like it was about i mean you can have like true intimacy like really being vulnerable and being authentic and owning that and knowing that you're allowed of allowed to do so and that you're worthy of being loved whether you're upset angry sad happy it doesn't matter like you're worthy and deserving to be loved like unconditional love i definitely feel like this could definitely um, be in regards to some type of romantic relationship it doesn't have to be but this is about just really speaking your truth and believing in yourself and not convincing anyone with what you're saying this is about just speaking it and you're just speaking it because you deserve and you deserve to be heard and you want to speak your truth this isn't about proving or convincing anyone of anything if that makes sense so yeah just expressing your emotions instead of stuffing them down um this is about no longer overthinking anything um kind of no longer trying to intellectually control your emotions by like rationalizing them away this is about recognizing the difference between 
your feelings um, and your thoughts. This is about, I feel, I just feel like you're going to get valuable insight and information for creating a new way of communicating. And that in this way is no longer going to be you not communicating or defensive patterns or anything like that, or cutting off communication. It's about, it's about really being able to put your ego aside and let your heart speak and just trust that positive relationships and other people are going to up, open up to you in the same way and they're going to hear you. I feel like the more real you are, the more real others will be with you. So sharing your feelings openly and kindly, you know, not watering yourself down, not editing yourself. Um, because others want to know who you are. I feel I'm just getting this energy of others want to know who you are. This will build bridges in really important ways i feel like you're going to meet really important people honestly when you start doing this and you're just going to feel really good about yourself about your environment about who you're with about what's going on this is going to be a game changer for you honestly and this is a long time coming i'm also hearing this is going to shift your reality and really manifest all the things you've been trying to manifest but maybe felt blocked or felt challenged in doing so because this was like the last piece of the puzzle kind of sort of speak to why you weren't getting your manifestations you know um so this is really going to be front and center like i said for the next five months which is really good because i feel like starting the new year you're gonna have a brand new relationship or a brand new type of relationship with other people you're gonna have new people in your life you're gonna start inspiring other people i feel like you're gonna have a whole new career change and just a whole new trajectory for yourself um because of this chiron retrograde so that's really really beautiful to see and like i said chiron retrograde is our wounded healer it's it's where we have our pain and our wounds but it also is where we grow spiritually and where we inspire um other people to grow spiritually and heal and help others do so so i hope this was helpful i'm gonna leave it here so i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello my third pile and welcome to your reading for how is chiron retrograde going to be affecting you over the next five months if you chose the lapis lazuli then you found your way to your reading so i definitely feel like this group a lot of you who chose this are very creative you're looking i definitely feel like this chiron retrograde is going to affect your creativity um it's going to affect so i feel like maybe some of you could have it happening transiting in your fifth house because that's the house of creativity I, I don't know if there's another house maybe your third house um or wherever Aries is just kind of pay attention to that because it's going to be like affecting your creative work um what in that way i feel like a lot of you this is helping you to kind of be more confident in your creative work to show off your creative work to really have faith that your creative work is going to be whatever you want it to be however successful you want it to be that is what is going to happen because i feel like a lot of you who chose this don't really believe in yourself enough you don't believe that you're good enough you don't believe that your work is good enough and it's going to be bringing up this wound for you to pay attention to because that is what's keeping you from reaching your highest potential and your success in terms of whatever success means to you and whatever success means to you in terms of your work so we have the first card here that says unleash your creativity number 31 so this is all about your creative talents like i was saying your creative abilities um it is one of your most powerful assets i definitely feel like a lot of you who chose this group your talent your creative talent is part of your mission and purpose here you're meant to share it with the collective it's meant to raise the vibration of the collective it's meant to influence all of us here on earth in a really positive way and help us to like uplift ourselves in some way as all art is but i feel like yours is really particular and i feel like maybe it's not particular as much as okay maybe what i'm trying to say is because you hide it or you don't believe in it it's not it can't have the same effect you know it can't really serve its purpose if you're kind of keeping it to yourself or hiding it away or only sharing it with a few people and you know just not really trusting and believing that this is you know this is worth attention this is worth showing off this is worth not showing off but this is worth showing others and letting other people enjoy your creative work so i really do feel like this chiron retrograde over the next five months is going to be affecting your imagination it's going to be helping you 
um, kind of expand your imagination. Have your imagination roam without limits um, and kind of come into access with new ideas without judging them because I feel like you are maybe in this place of like a creative block or you're just kind of restricting yourself creatively or you're restricting your ideas of maybe you feel you can only do this this and this because doing this other thing is out of your comfort zone and you don't think it'll be successful you have those ideas for a reason you have these inspirations and this imagination for a reason it's meant to be shared it's meant to lead you to your success it's meant to help you be successful in whatever you want to be successful in so this is about birthing a new creation i feel like this kind of retrograde is really going to help you collaborate with others we do have the collaboration tarot card here the three of pentacles it's all about teamwork expertise it's about combining it's about um, cooperating with others to help you, to help transform your work or transform whatever work you do to help really get it out there. I feel like you're going to be meeting like-minded people that are in the same field as you or in the same creative work as you that can really help you kind of get yourself out there a little bit more not a lot because it's only a three but just enough where you're kind of trusting yourself and seeing how you're work is affecting others in a very inspirational way so this is definitely a good time over the next five months for you to be innovative if you have any new innovative ideas if you're feeling stuck this is a good time to get up and move over the next five months to try new things to meet new people read books do try new creative um like expressions like painting maybe if you are a drawer try painting or maybe if you're a singer you know try um kind of creating different beats or something like that it's just something in that field it's kind of expanding your horizons a little bit because i do feel like chiron um over the next five months is wanting you to concentrate on a, this area of your life where you need to be more creative so um it could even be gardening it doesn't have to be something super creative but it's about you could even be a writer or tell stories through your writing whatever it is um cooking you know um whatever the case may be it's about giving yourself that permission and the time to be innovative to the more the, the more creative you allow yourself to be let me just say this the more creative you allow yourself to be the more fulfilled you're going to you're going to feel so this is about allowing your creativity to work for you not against you because i feel like right now it may be working against you and you do have a lot of messages here about having faith being patient being courageous that whatever you and like aspire to be whatever your desire is your dream is of how you show your work maybe you're a sculptor or like you create sculptures or whatever it will be successful it will be seen by the right people to get it where you want it to be because it's just one i feel like it's destined two it's just meant to be that way you have a really original and innovative authentic way of expressing yourself through art whatever that may be and even if it's not like you know like i said it could be gardening gardening cooking um writing whatever it is it's going to get attention it's going to gain traction and in a really good way and it's gonna make you feel good and confident in yourself it's going to um really inspire other people you know um, it's going to, maybe it's not going to bring you abundance or anything or like prosperity. For some, it could. For some, it, you know, depends on what it is. But it's going to inspire others. And that's what art is for. It's inspiration to inspire others and to help people kind of just feel more inspired, feel hopeful, have faith, be renewed. Like that's how we heal. You know, that's how we um raise the collective consciousness and and raise our vibration and and really transcend beyond obstacles and and just feel inspired to help other people that's what it's all about in the end so we have have faith here this card is kind of basically speaks for itself just have faith in yourself have faith in your work i feel like a lot of you have not been having faith in yourself faith in your work you've just been kind of um oh what's the word i want to say you've been like not trusting yourself obviously but there was a particular saying that i wanted to say i'm not good with sayings today i don't know what's going on but um anyways i'll just move on but um have faith is yeah it's pretty much self-explanatory it's about you no oh, sec, not second guessing yourself not second guessing your ability to do whatever it is you want to do I feel like a lot of you have been wondering why your dreams are being blocked right now um or why you feel less deserving 
in some area of your life where other people are appearing to succeed you feel like you're not succeeding you know i feel like there's this struggle with your work in some type of way and spirit chiron you know is really wanting you to keep the faith when it comes to this keep the faith that fate will bring you what you need um fate and your efforts will bring you what you need so i do feel like a lot of you need to do breathing work because i'm getting this really anxious like i can't breathe type of feeling so maybe a lot of you suffer from anxiety this is about taking a deep breath and letting your emotions regroup i feel like you are learning something on a soul level over the next five months i feel like justice is prevailing at all times all the time but especially with you guys here i feel like even when life affair appears to be telling you no or um you just feeling blocked in some area you have more luck on your side is what i'm picking up here um we do have the fool in reverse and the magician in reverse so we have a zero and a one in reverse that's all about a new beginning um which means it's resistant it's blocked and it's blocked because you have to have the faith first you have to have the courage you have to be patient you have to do your part and then let the universe do its part you can't control everything every outcome every every little detail you need to just do your work and that's that's all you need to do um because i feel like whatever it is you're doing you feel like it's a risk whatever it is with some collaboration some type of teamwork some type of showing your work to someone you feel like it's risky because you feel like it will be declined or rejected or you know it, it just won't go well so i feel like you could just be deceiving yourself and telling yourself oh i don't need to do that or i don't need to share my work or i'm good just having this be my own little secret or something like that but it's like you're lying to yourself because you really do want people to see what you've created and appreciate what you've created so and there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like there's this this underlining of you not believing in yourself which just keeping it more in this type of deceptive type of energy and like it's more self-deception honestly than it is like other people being deceptive to you i would be careful though because i did say that i feel like some people could want to maybe steal your work in some way or take advantage of the work that you've done people may manipulate you to um kind of take your like cop was it copyright no not copyright um but like kind of what's it plagiarism like kind of pretend take your work and pretend it's their work so be careful about that because i am kind of picking up that message for a few of you a little bit of you but overall i feel like this is more like a self-deceptive energy of you feeling not good enough to work with others collaborate with others or to really um kind of step up your game in your work and really maybe work for a company that builds sculptures if you're a sculptor like person um or maybe um, work for um, a gallery and show your work in a gallery or something or to really um, get your writing published or whatever the case may be you just feel like it's not good enough to do that and that is what's keeping it from actually like being good enough does that make sense because your work your art is your energy it's it's you it's a part of you it's just a part it's an expression of you and if you're expressing a lot of doubt fear worry deceptive um type of energy then obviously other people are going to pick up on that whether your work is and i don't feel like your work is i feel like your work is like 100 percent like a1 but if it has that type of energy around it obviously people are going to pick up on that energy and for whatever what reason they're gonna like decline it or they're gonna take it and make it their own you know what i mean so just be careful because energy is real we're all energy everything is energy and really it's about you having the faith you having the courage to really believe in yourself so this is about broadening your view and accepting that all things happen for an important spiritual reason and i feel like you're going through a really important spiritual lesson over the next five months about believing in yourself um which you may not fully understand until after this is over so i feel like it's only like um Kyra Montreal is only like five months but by the new year I feel like you'll understand why things had to happen that way so no matter what is happening on the surface or no matter how something how unfair something is or unjust something is or your life seems to be just trust that the divine is operating at all times and they have your back with this because you have more luck than not but you may be just focused on the wrong things so try to just refrain from feeling frustrated I feel like there's going to be a lot of frustration coming up for you a lot of resentment fullness a lot of um naivety a little bit a lot of um just self-deception like i said a lot of unfocused energy so just be careful about that and just try to accept that your journey is what it is for a reason and not to compare yourself to other people because the challenges you face today are going to help you grow spiritually and become a stronger person for tomorrow and 
This is about you working you working smarter not harder it's like it's like the universe is asking you to have faith and let go of control and to kind of to help you build these positive character building qualities that you need in order to live your best life to have the life that you desire and to overcome you know future difficulties um that you may face in the future you know what i'm saying it's it's like you're developing a stronger sense of self basically over the next five months and in order to make the best of things this is about you really connecting to your higher self and asking for that insight and those resources so you can carry on because i feel like um i'm getting like 10 of wands so i feel like you all are just really exhausted and tired and are just really like losing hope and faith in yourself you know losing losing that inspiration because you're just not seeing it manifest and it's because you're not truly honestly authentically believing in your work in yourself if that makes sense so we have courage here and it says i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence you're scared to present your work to share your work you have to have courage you have to find that inner strength that inner strength you have to have that confidence in yourself if you don't believe in yourself no one else is going to believe in you and that is just like the truth here like obviously so you know no one's obligated to believe in you no one's obligated to validate your work you have to know your work is good you have to know that you know even if someone rejected your work here not everyone's gonna reject your work not everyone's gonna like what you do fair we're all different people we all have different opinions but that's nothing for you to concern yourself with you do what you love you do what you like and more people than not will love your work don't focus on the people that don't don't focus on the people that reject you this is about having patience because we do have impatience here this is about um affirming that you are manifesting you are manifesting the life that you want this is about being in the present moment this is about believing your believing in yourself this is about affirming what is believable to you with the say affirmations here this is about i feel like a lot of you could be kind of in this routine where you're in this negative self-talk and you don't even know it you could be just like telling yourself really doubtful worry anxious type um of things in your head and it's affecting energetically your work and it's affecting your success in your work so really pay attention to what you're telling yourself really pay attention to how you're talking to yourself and you know what you're telling others about your work if people are asking about your work and you're kind of downplaying it or doubting it why would someone want to take your work then you know what i mean why would someone not saying you have to be cocky and arrogant about your work but you have to believe that your work is worth is worth it you know it's worth a lot it's because it's an expression of you and you're worth a lot so if you don't feel like you're worthy obviously your work is not going to get that type of worthy attention because you're not getting that worthy attention because you're not giving yourself that worthy attention see how it's like a circle like it just it just it all starts with you we all know that saying and it's true like it very much always starts with you so this impatience is about a desire to create you know it's about um aligning with divine timing this is all about time and your time your time to shine like your yeah your time to shine will come you know it's already probably already here it's just a little bit skewed right now because you don't believe in yourself so this is about moving with the energy and not in front of it it's about being present um again we have that um energy speaking here it's about um just being yeah just being present and knowing that you have everything that you need this is about letting things unfold i do feel like a lot of you are going to get these revelations and a lot of you are going to have this success whether i feel like it'll be sometime this year honestly um but for others of you i feel like it will truly come the beginning of next year 2022 or at the end of the year in december you're really going to see like oh my gosh like i'm actually like really popular in my work my art my create my creative work is really popular right now so this is about no longer being in this scarcity type of thinking because i feel like a lot of you could be in that mode and chiron is bringing that up for you to heal it and acknowledge it this is about um i feel like a lot of you could be feeling exhausted by your efforts because you're just not seeing the success match your efforts you know what i'm saying this is about success through patience is what i'm getting you have to be patient you have to have faith this is about no longer jumping the gun this is about being honest with yourself are you forcing something to happen i feel like there's a really big question you need to ask yourself are you forcing something are you forcing yourself to do something that you're not ready to do or are you forcing yourself to 
feel something that you really don't feel but because you don't want to seem cocky or arrogant you're just kind of going down that road there's something about force here i feel like you have to be honest with yourself about what, what you're forcing um and be careful about making certain decisions with people because I do feel like you're getting people that want to work with you, but there's some type of deceptive, manipulative recklessness around that. So you really have to be really discerning about who you share your work with, who you talk to, who you collaborate with, I think is really going to be really important. It's going to be the key to your success, um, not to rush any decisions, but to know that your needs will be met, you know? you do your work and you'll see you'll see the rewards for it. I I just feel like a lot of you may be feeling blocked or feel like something wonderful is blocked from you and you don't and you're just impatient, obviously. <laughs> I feel like you yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. I think you're just impatient. And so you want to be hasty and force something, but you can't because you can't control the outcome. All you can do is trust that the highest possible outcome will be there for you when you are in alignment with it if that makes sense so yeah so just it, this is about getting in alignment with what you really want and not putting doubt in your head and not letting other people put doubt in your head because i feel like that could be a thing too this is about sharing with people that you trust and if you don't trust anyone that's okay you can keep it quiet to yourself you don't have to talk to everyone about something because i feel like if you don't get the validation you need then you start doubting yourself so you have to be at a certain level of self-awareness to know like okay so I'm, you know, telling my person about my work because I want them to validate my work. So if they don't, am I going to feel bad about that? Yes or no. You know, if I just share my work because I want to share it and I don't care about the outcome, you know, is that something that I can do or do I need more practice or do I need to keep it to myself? These are questions you have to ask yourself because your biggest priority is about your work. It's about your creativity. It's about your creative work and you need to protect it at all costs, just like you need to protect yourself at all costs. And if that means you can't share it with anyone yet, then that that's what that means. If that means that you can only share it with one person, then share it with that one person. Whatever the case may be, it's guiding you towards your success. Even if it's one person, I feel like that one person will know someone who knows someone that will get you the success or the reward or whatever you're looking for out of your creative work, the attention that, or the, not, I hate using that word, but the recognition, let's say, that you want, you know? Instead of you forcing it, I feel like it'll just come to you and trusting that you know the right people will come to you, will recognize your work in due time. It's nothing you have to force because it's already done. Spirit is saying it's already, it's it's done. It's already destined for you to be recognized in whatever work, whatever field you're in. So you don't have to force it. You just have to be patient and trust yourself. So this is a lesson in trust, faith, patience, courage discernment um which i feel like is tough for you guys because this is something that you haven't practiced yet or you've been kind of been neglecting and this is something that over the next five months oh over the next five months is really going to be front and center for you all because one i think it's just divine timing and two it's because your work is meant to be seen recognized so this has to happen before it's recognized you know what I mean so you just have to push through it and it'll it'll I feel like it'll all work out honestly I feel like you're gonna see the recognition by like I said the end of the year or the beginning of next year um it's not going to I mean that seems like a long time but I I, I think it'll be worth the wait honestly and I think you'll be okay in between that time you know over the next five months trying to get things together and trying to just do your work and, and trying to inspire yourself again and really be discerning about who you talk to and who wants to work with you and who you want to work with you know really be honest about yourself about why you want to work with certain people because if you feel like these certain people will get you where you want to go um if it's coming from a place of ego then that means that you know you may have to kind of you're just blocking a lot more of your success you know be careful just where you're where you're putting your energy if it's coming from a place of ego it's not probably not going to work out more likely than not if it's coming from a place of true like faith and um true like what's the word i want to use like true resourcefulness true concentration true like a free spirit like just being spontaneous it'll work like a hundred times more better for you than if it were coming from a place of just like fear basically easier said than done i know but yeah so yeah this was probably like the lightest group out of the chiron retrogrades um 
that I felt that I did. I feel like the other two were kind of heavy. This was more like you just need like a pep talk and maybe stop talking to certain people because I feel like there's certain people that are getting in your head about your work and you're taking it on as your own opinion and that could be kind of muddling up your manifestation. So just try to keep, you know, just keep it quiet for now until it's fully grounded and fully like manifested and then you can tell people the right, you'll know when to tell the right people. Trust your intuition. You'll know who to tell, who not to tell. Um, if you're feeling guided to tell someone like a stranger, tell the stranger because you never know who that stranger may know that could get you where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I see for you guys. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. Um, until then, I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.